Hello everyone. This is an All Signs Collective reading. So welcome to your reading and welcome to my channel. I am so happy that I uh, made the move to open up this channel to all zodiac signs. I think it's going to help us build a more inclusive community and um, this is just a high vibe safe space, right? It's good for so many of us and um, you know, I'm just looking forward to growing and going with you all on this journey, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. i um, going to do a Moonology. We're going to start off with a Moonology Oracle. Um, and I want to also take time to thank and welcome in the Archangels uh, because they help me with my channel. And Archangels, I just request that you infuse these readings with your frequencies, your vibrations, your validations, your predictions, um, and everything that the viewers need when they come into this space. All right. Now, like I said, this is a general collective reading for all signs. If you look back through my playlist, I have a ton of other timeless readings based on your specific zodiac sign and it can be for any placement that you want to check out so do take time and um, go to the uh, other playlists and see if you can find some nuggets in there that would serve you well for where you're at right now okay let's go ahead and get started with a moonology oracle card to see how spirit wants to start the reading oh bring love into the situation new moon in Aquarius new moon in Aquarius now this has a lot of star card energy um, I'm feeling just like it does in tarot and while I'm feeling that this could be heading into a romantic love kind of a reading I want you to know that this can also apply for self-love okay um, self-love is just as important if not more important than romantic love because we can't have one without the other um, in its fullest most beautiful expression so bring love into the situation perhaps if you have been one who's been unwilling in love you needed to hear this message um, just know that love it can hurt if it's not actually love okay you know what I mean because um, a lot of people talk about how love hurts but the truth of the matter is is love is a healer and love feels good love doesn't feel bad all right um, and so perhaps you're being called this time to bring love into the situation allow healthy love into your situations okay all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Wisdom of the Tarot. I'm going to do a five-card reading base on the five senses. Um, I do this sort of with a metaphysical psychic twist. Um, I usually get a lot of downloads and channeled messages. Um, so I will do this, um, lay this out five cards based on the five senses and see what messages Spirit has for the collective. In the area of touch, spirit, what do the viewers need to get their hands on? In the area of taste, what do my viewers have a taste for? In the area of smell, what is in the air for my viewers? In the area of hearing, spirit, what do you want the viewers to hear? And finally, what do you want the viewers to see, spirit? We start off with princess of cups some beautiful beautiful water energy going on right here uh, Pisces cancer Scorpio perhaps you identify with one of those signs um, or the person that you love your love interest is um, a Pisces cancer or Scorpio um, thing about the princess of cups is she's in an energy where she's not yet queen so there's a little bit of youthfulness, a little bit of naivete with the Princess of Cups. Um, she is clearly an emotional uh, figure since she is in the suit of cups, okay? 
And anytime you bring love into a situation, there's bound to be emotions, right? But love is not relegated to only emotion, only feeling. It's also shown by practicality, okay? And so cups are definitely the emotional arena. And perhaps some of you have the practicals of love worked out, whether that's for your own self-love or romantic love, but you'd really like to feel the juiciness of love, right? The emotional feeling part of love because maybe you've missed out on that. Maybe you're in a relationship and you know that you're each in love with each other, but you don't have that juicy emotional piece um, that you would like to have and that is characteristic of the love that so many other people experience, okay? So just know that that's um, something that you will be able to get your hands on pretty soon. In the area of taste, what do my viewers have a taste for? The Hermit, okay. Here's what I'm hearing. There's actually a few messages I'm getting here. The Hermit is a solitary figure and he travels through the valley alone with his own light and you know from what we can see he doesn't have any kind of weapons he has a staff but i always like to say the hermit is one of the greatest badasses of the tarot he's not like a knight you know if he was a knight he'd have his horse where he could escape or he'd have a sword that or that he could brandish and protect himself but it is just me, myself, and I. You know what I mean? And his own personal spiritual power uh, that is traveling through the valley to get up onto the mountain to reach a higher perspective. Um, and so I'm feeling one of the messages for you, Collective, is that you're wanting to balance emotion, emotional love with wisdom. Okay, and what I'm really picking up on here is that some of you are parents, perhaps single parents, and you have children, and, and I'm just going to say for the sake of the video here, adult children, um, and you see them in their own love situations and you've got kind of a watchful eye on them, okay? You've got some concerns, um, and you're really just trying to lead and guide and direct them. Um, and Spirit just wants you to know, um, you know, you're not the only one watching over them, okay? Uh, that they are protected, uh, and that you are going to have the wisdom and discernment that you need to help them when it comes to love and finding their own love. Helping them on their own self-love journey because perhaps that was something that you didn't do and um, you regret it, right? And you're like, if I had to do it all over again, the first thing I would do is love myself and that's what you're trying to teach. If this resonates with you, would you click that like button and even drop in the comments and share with us. We would love to connect with you there. Um, so yeah, just this spiritual wisdom concerning love. And I just keep hearing the words solo journey. Solo journey. It's a solo journey. Um, so yeah, it sounds like some of you viewers have a taste for the spiritual wisdom of love. And some of you have gotten enough. You've got your gut full <laughs> of being a solo figure who's been immersed in only wisdom, but you're longing for the emotions of love. Also, something that's noteworthy here is that this is a major arcana card. So whenever you find this message, it is speaking to you at a karmic point on your timeline, okay? All right, in the area of smell, what's in the air for the viewers? <gasps> the tower. Okay, <laughs> the second major arcana card in a row. I am really, really, really 
feeling, this energy of how your perspective, your perception, and the way that you have always done love is about to be changed. Some of your philosophies about love, especially if you've been cynical and guarding yourself inside of a tower with all your walls up where no one can get to you, is about to come crumbling down, okay? Because love needs to be brought into your situation. There's this saying that no one is an island unto themselves, and perhaps you've been a bit of a lone ranger, um, but Spirit just wants you to know that you were made to be in community. Um, you were made to be connected, right? And I know in the tower we have these two individuals, right, who are falling, and what I'm picking up on this right here is there, there was someone who played a part, a role in causing you to develop a cynicism about love. And guess what? They're about to be shook up too. Okay? So that is what's in the air. <laughs> Exciting times. <laughs> All right. In the area of hearing spirit, what do the viewers need to hear? Seven of swords. Whew. I just heard there are better ways of doing things. You do not, love does not have to be a battle. Love can be and have its own strategies, but those strategies should be nonviolent and they should include de weaponization. Ooh, that is good. Do you feel that? If that resonates with you, would you click that like button? That was powerful. This is a soldier who is in a battle encampment. And he is going around gathering up the swords so that they can't be used, possibly against him and his uh, camp, okay? And so the idea here is what you need to hear is, is that there are better ways of doing love than how you were taught. Maybe you grew up around a lot of fussing and fighting and cussing, um, domestic violence, okay? And Spirit is saying there's a better way. And perhaps you're struggling because you find yourself doing love those same ways that you saw in your family and context of origin. And you know, you're telling yourself, I know I shouldn't do it, do it like this. I know I shouldn't be like this. I know that I'm struggling with anger. But Spirit wants you to hear that help is being sent in, that real, true self-love and romantic love. And, you know, if you need the love of friends or family, love is being brought into the situation. And when that happens, you yourself are going to be able to move about, not in a battle fashion, but in a fashion that de-weaponizes and softens your relationship or relationships. Okay? You needed to hear that. That's extremely good news. See, this philosophy change, that's what this right here is about. This shakeup is going to lead you to do love, to be able to do love differently, whether that's self-love, whether that's familial, friends, whether that's romantic, whatever. It covers the whole gamut of love, okay? Now, Spirit, what do you want the viewers to see? We have the Three of Wands, established strength, established strength. There's this also this energy of exploration with the Three of Wands. You have this figure who is gazing out across the ocean, right? Um, there are obviously ships that are near the shore, but it appears he's looking further for more, okay? And perhaps, oh, I just got a download. Perhaps some of you are in international relationships, long distance relationships, and you're just kind of wondering and waiting when you are going to see 
your person, okay? And so you feel like you're sort of in this lurch. But Spirit wants you to know that this gap between the two of you will soon be bridged. And that's what you need to see here. There are incoming vessels of support that are going to help you unite with that person that you love, okay? And this even could be family overseas. Remember, this is just whatever form of love you need, whatever form of love you're seeking or, or after or trying to address, okay? So you've got this lovely three of wands, um, and it's the energy of a journey, and love is just that. Am I right or am I right? It's a journey. It's not a journey if you remain solo and in cynicism and like an island unto yourself. It's a process, right? It's a process that will take you and change you and shift you and move you around and cause you to do and think in different ways, okay? And that's the beauty of love, right? It keeps us fluid and dynamic, okay? All right, let's go ahead and grab an Empath Oracle card. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already done so. It is absolutely free for you to do. Um, and just come on board with the vibration and energy of my channel. I would love that so much. So to close out, Spirit, we have this Empath Oracle card. We have number 36, authenticity. No more masks is what I'm hearing. It is time for you to take off the mask. Be who you really are. See, some of you feel like if you allow your real true self to be seen, that you won't receive the love that you need or that you will lose the love that you already have. Now, I'm getting a message right now, uh, particularly for influencers. Perhaps you are on YouTube or another social media platform and you are considering changing some things up, being more authentic, but you're worried if you remove this mask, the mask that you wear on YouTube or other you know, social platforms, that you're going to lose people who love you. You're going to lose followers. And Spirit wants you to know that that is absolutely not the case. If anything, they're going to respect you all the more and be even closer with you than they were before because there is power in authenticity. People respect the raw right? People respect and admire and trust people who aren't afraid to remove the masks and show themselves to the world. It takes courage. Um, it takes fortitude. It takes creativity um, to do something like that, okay? So you are being encouraged to do that, and you're being encouraged and validated Spirit wants you to know you're not going to lose love when you lose your mask. You're going to gain it. You're going to gain love. You're going to gain followers. You're going to gain self-respect. You're going to gain so much more. Okay? I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I hope that you will like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you will stay tuned for the next video. Okay? I love you all so much. If you'd like a personal reading, Feel free to connect with me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. And uh, I have personal readings priced very reasonably as I'm building this community and kind of getting the channel out there. So any help at all, any connection at all, would be greatly appreciated. Okay? I love you all so much. And until the next reading, I wish you all peace. Bye!